Let's travel a few brush miles. If you've got some paper that you don't like, especially I've got a pad of Hanamula that is just not a particularly great one that I like for the style of watercolor that I do, but I thought it would be great for practicing brush strokes. And even though this paper doesn't have the kind of properties that I'm looking for in it, it's great for something like brush practice. Layering the branches on top of each other can start to fill in the empty spaces on the paper, getting as much practice as possible for your brush, but it also means that you might end up with a piece of paper that you could use for something else. I turned mine into a whole set of Thinking of You cards.